you shooting in RAW? And do you want to make sure that you're capturing the maximum amount of detail in your images? Hi, I'm Julie from Ultimate Photo Tips. And this week, I'm bringing you the final part in a three-part series that I've been doing about histograms. Today, I want to talk about a technique called exposing to the right. And it applies only if you're shooting in RAW, not if you're shooting in JPEG, because it assumes that you're going to be post-processing your images. When you're looking at your camera's histogram display, and you see an even division of the space from dark to light tones, you might think that your camera is capturing an equal amount of data at each brightness level. It does not. In fact, your camera captures exponentially more data in the light tones. Half of your camera's data is reserved for the brightest stop of light. So that means that if you're not exposing in such a way that your histogram stretches all the way to the right, you're wasting megapixels. If you don't have any data in the top stop of your histogram, then you're not using a full half of your available megapixels. So let's look at an example. If I use the camera's meter to judge the exposure, a light-colored subject like this is going to be rendered as middle gray. If you look, there's a lot of room at the right side of the histogram. That means that we're only making use of less than half of the available data that our camera is capable of capturing if we shoot on meter. If we increase this exposure after the fact in our raw editor software, you're going to be able to see that the image gets a bit noisy because you're trying to fill in missing data. Now, if on the other hand you expose to the right, in other words, you increase your exposure while you're out shooting in the field, you're going to capture more data. So here, the histogram stretches all the way to the right, so we're making the most out of our camera's data storage. Now, you never want to go beyond the right edge because then you're blowing out the highlights and you're losing detail but you do want to go as close to that right side as you can. Now, sometimes, as in this example, you can see that the image is going to look too bright on your LCD display if you apply this technique. That's okay. You should still shoot it like this, and then use your RAW editor to reduce your exposure to your taste. Now, in the final image, there's room at the right side of the histogram again, but because I photographed it using the data storage in the light tones, I've actually captured more data and I'm going to have an image that's much richer in detail. So that's it for this week's tip and that's the end of our little mini-series on histograms. Remember, if you want more information about histograms or more examples, check out the links below this video back to ultimatephototips.com and our histogram pages. Happy shooting and I'll see you next time. Thank you.